Hey, it's Luke from Walzer CJD here to bring you a quick look at the Grand Wagoneer, the much anticipated Grand Wagoneer. This is gonna be a Series 2, so there is still one level above this one and one level below being a Series 1 or a Series 3, but this will have a lot of features on it, so I can give you an idea of what it has and some of the cool new stuff that they've added to this lineup of vehicle. So taking a look at the front here, this does have the performance LED headlights. So as you hit the unlock button, it's gonna do kind of a quick cool dance at the front. As you can see, it is lowering itself down. So when you do unlock the vehicle or as you're approaching it, after not being next to it for a while, it's gonna lower itself down into its entry exit mode, making it a little bit easier for you guys to get in and out. As you take a look along the back, there's gonna be a lot of different wheel options as well as fit and finishes and color options for this. So if you wanna take a look at ordering one, obviously you can reach out to me, Luke, and I can help you get one on order. Or if you see one in our inventory you like, you can always reach out uh, and we can make sure to get you the right one. But when you grab the door handle, it's gonna unlock the vehicle and this giant footstep is gonna come out on the side. It is integrated in the side molding of the vehicle so it blends right in. But this being a full size three row vehicle, you're gonna get a lot of space. Size wise, it's positioned between uh, a Suburban and a Tahoe. So you're getting a little bit more than a Tahoe, but a little bit shorter than a Suburban. There is another model coming out. It's gonna be the long wheelbase option, which is gonna give you even more space behind that third row. But let's take a look in the trunk and see what we have back there. So a few ways to open up the trunk. There is a little pad underneath that you can grab or you can double click on the key fob and it's gonna open right up. Again, a really cool little dance with the lights in the back there. They are consecutive turn signals, so as they go, or sequential I should say, they go from one to the next to the next, and it has a really cool aesthetic to it. Back here, again, tons of space. Does come with all of your floor mats and coverings, additional storage below the bottom here, and you do have your power seat controls. So lowering those seats is easy as touching a button, and you're dropping the third row as well as the second row with those buttons. You do have charger ports back here too on each side as well as electronically reclining the seat. So even your third row passengers with their sunroof, it's gonna have a really comfortable, enjoyable ride. Let's go take a look at the inside to some of the technology there. See you in a second. So taking a look at the inside of the Grand Wagon here, there is a lot of technology. A lot more that I can go over in one simple video, so I'd love to set up a time to have you come take a look at it in person and experience it for yourself. So this one is equipped with the Macintosh audio system. So Jeep partnered with Macintosh Audio, one of the best names in the audio industry to create an absolutely amazing audio experience right inside of your vehicle. Uh, couple that with the large screens that we have up front where you can control your heated seat, cooled seat, Apple CarPlay, massaging seats, you name it, it will have it. Uh, you can make all the screens disappear or shut off by easily clicking a button and it's gonna go away for additional storage and plugins down below as well as the passenger screen which can only be seen by the passenger. So along with the rear theater package in this vehicle, you can actually monitor all those screens and adjust what's playing on it from the screens up front, either on the passenger side or on the center display itself. So if you have friends or kids who are watching movies or TV shows, uh, they can connect to those as they are Roku built-in TVs, so you can actually stream everything right to them. Really cool new feature that they added. Obviously, you have your full suite of safety features and driver's aids, including a new Super Cruise-like feature. It's gonna allow you to actually take your hands off the steering wheel for a period of time, and it'll keep you between the lines as you're going down the road. So let's take a look at some of the extra things in the back, because uh, there's a lot of really cool new features in there, as well as some new design elements we can go over as well. So in the back seat of the Grand Wagoneer, they have taken the same center console that you get in the front and put it in the middle in the back as well. So you do have a touch screen for all of your climate and seat controls, as well as your TV screens, both in front of uh, the rear occupants. You do have some additional storage and charger ports in the center console, which is again about the same size as the front one. So you're getting a lot of different space. And again, you can see some of the trim on this vehicle. It's a nice dark walnut wood. Uh, you can go with like a lighter bamboo colored wood uh, and some metal trims as well if you don't like the look of this one. Uh, they do have sunshades in the rear so even your rear occupants can stay cool on a hot day and you still have that really cool third row sunroof. If you have any questions on the new Grand Wagoneer or it looks like it's going to fit in the style that you're needing, uh, you can always find us at walzercjd.com. Otherwise, you can always call in and ask for Luke and I'll be able to help you out and walk you through all the different features on the vehicle. Look forward to seeing you soon.